Telangana Special Sarvapindi Popular Telangana recipe made with rice flour and some spices cooked till it turns crispy. This is typical Telangana recipe but other states has their own version of this recipe. It is consumed as breakfast or snack. 2 tablespoons of chanadal. Add water to the dal and wash 2-3 to three times. Add water and soak for 15 to 20 minutes. Let's fry peanuts. Take 2 tablespoons of peanuts and fry until all the raw smell is gone. See some dark spots on the peanuts then. It is done. Transfer to a plate and let it cool down and peel the skin off. One small size of bottle gourd. Peel the skin off. Making tasty and healthier version of Sarvapindi by adding bottle gourd. Cut the bottle gourd into half and take out the seeds and pulp as shown in the video. Take a bowl and grater. Grate the bottle gourd pieces. Take a pestle and add peanuts and crush little. Crushed peanuts are ready. Now add 4 cups of rice flour. Roasted peanuts. Chopped onions. Handful of curry leaves, handful of coriander leaves and 2 tablespoons of sesame seeds. Now add soaked chana dal. 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. 1 half tablespoon of turmeric powder. 1 half tablespoon of coriander powder. 1 tablespoon of chili powder. Salt adjust accordingly. Mix all the ingredients. Bottle gourd contains water. Mix all the ingredients thoroughly if water is required. To knead the dough then add little water at a time. Serve a pindi dough should be like chapati dough. Not too soft, not too hard. Used only one half glass of water. Take a kadai or deep saucepan and drizzle. Some oil. Grease the all to the complete kadai as shown in the video. This is the authentic version of making sarvapindi. Take a little portion of sarvapindi. Take a kadai and add sarvapindi dough to it, and spread as shown. Gently spread the dough with the fingertips. Use fingertips or knuckles to spread the dough. Spread the dough evenly, not too thick, not too thin. Make a holes in the middle to cook evenly, from inside. Drizzle some oil into the holes. Drizzle some oil to the sides of the dough. Now place the kadai on the heat and cook for 10 to 15 minutes on low to medium heat. Let's see the sarvapindi how it's cooking. It cooking on a steam. Cook until it turns crispy. Let's check the sarvapindi. The bottom layer is brown and crispy then. It is done transferred to a plate and serve. Scrape the edges slowly. If you don't have kadai then make it on a chapati pan. Drizzle with some oil and grease the pan. Take some portion of dough and spread as shown. Make some holes to cook evenly. Drizzle with some oil in the holes and the corners. Cover with the lid and cook for 10 to 15 minutes.
flip the other side and cook for five minutes. It's optional. Sarva Pindi is cooked and turns into crispy texture. Transfer to a plate and serve. Healthy and tasty Sarva Pindi is ready. Dip with some curd or chutney or eat directly. It tastes yummy.